Hey guys, welcome back to Luke's Goldies. So in this video, I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk about all this stuff here. And I'm gonna talk about it while I'm lying on the ground, because there's no other way to have it in the camera frame with me. I'm not gonna put it on the shelf, I don't know, crack the shelf. So here I am lying on the ground, uh, filming YouTube video. So we got beneficial bacteria and we got water conditioner. I'll send a bunch of this by Frizz Aquatics. Thank you guys, appreciate it. And I just want to go over why these two things are extremely important uh, for anyone that's really getting into the hobby or even people that have been in the hobby for a long time. Um, number one, the most important thing that you have to, I guess product you have to get as a fish keeper is water conditioner. Um, especially if you're in the United States, almost every place in the United States, there are some places that have well water, blah, 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 whatever. Um, but a majority of places in the United States, you're going to have to condition your water. There's going to be maybe chlorine, there's going to be chloramines, there's going to be other crap in there that you have to detoxify. That's why it's almost absolutely necessary that you get water conditioner. Uh, you have to put that right into your water as you add in new water or like when you set up a tank right when you put in new water. Because uh, that will detoxify the water and it will make it safe for the fish. I feel like a lot of people say, oh yeah, that's common knowledge. But you'd be surprised how many people I've talked with and they're like, oh... That's why my goldfish kept dying. I didn't use any water conditioner. I'm like, what? You just throw in the, the, the sink water into the tank and didn't do anything? So I'm, I hope most of you know that, but there's still a lot of people, a scary amount of people out there that don't realize that you need water conditioner, especially in the United States here. Um, so if you don't have water conditioner, please get that. Uh, and then also I want to talk about beneficial bacteria. So why would you want to add bacteria to a tank? Is it going to... It's going to cause an infection in your goldfish. Why would you want to add bacteria into the tank? Well, this bacteria is good bacteria. So how can a bacteria be good? Well, when a goldfish eats, it poops. And <laughs> I think that's pretty... I think everyone knows that. I hope everyone knows that. Uh, so when a goldfish eats, it poops. And that poop has ammonia in it. Now, what is ammonia? It's NH3. When it's in water, sometimes it's NH4 as well. Uh, but it's not good for your fish. It is kind of toxic to your fish. Now here's the thing, there's a wonderful biological uh, m m metabolic pathway that detoxifies that. Uh, and that basically is the bacteria eating that ammonia and then turning it into nitrite and then to nitrate. Now listen here, the bacteria will eat the ammonia, turn it into nitrite, which is probably even more toxic than the ammonia. But then, so that they almost like pull a little trick on you, like, oh, you got some ammonia? I'm going to make it even worse, but don't have to fear they're like it's like it's like a sour patch kids first they're sour then they're sweet first they make it into nitrite and you're freaking out you're like oh my lord i got a nitrite spike my fish are gonna die but then they come at you with the nitrate and they turn that nitrite which is very toxic into nitrate which is not it's toxic in very very high quantities why am i lying on the ground i don't know uh it's toxic in very high quantities but not really you know like any normal amount is really not that bad that's the reason why you have to do water changes that nitrate level um, but yeah, thank God for beneficial bacteria. It takes that toxic ammonia, makes it even a little more toxic at first, and then it makes it not toxic for your fish and turns it into that nitrate. So beneficial bacteria is very important. You don't necessarily need to go and buy beneficial bacteria. You can cycle the good old way by letting naturally occurring bacteria build up in your tank. Uh, but I will say this, that's going to take a long, long time. I just, I don't understand why anyone would do that. I just think it's financially not worth, it's not worth it to run your, your system for months and months and months when you can literally just go buy a little thing like this and pour it in there and you're gonna be set in much shorter time, a couple weeks maybe. And not even some, in some cases, if you put enough ammonia in there. So water conditioner is very important. You have to detoxify that water. And then this stuff is very important for the nitrogen cycle. Uh, now also the nice thing about certain water conditioners like these is that they also have compounds in there that'll temporarily detoxify ammonia, detoxify nitrite. So once you're trying to get your system or you, you have an instability in your nitrogen cycle, you can kind of use this as a little emergency, a little emergency band-aid to help with your ammonia spikes. However, it's not a long-term solution. Uh, if you have, you know, high ammonia levels, you do want to maybe add in some more beneficial bacteria or increase your filtration, decrease your fish load. Uh, but generally, generally, uh, this is going to help you in emergency cases, but it's not a long-term solution to high ammonia levels. If you have high ammonia levels, you have to attack the root cause. Um, so yeah, that's my little, that's my little, uh, my little discussion for today. Uh, I had all this in a nice pretty view, so I thought, why don't I just crouch down there and make a nice video for everybody. 
I hope you liked this video. Um, I hope if you're planning on getting a new fish, you definitely go out and at least buy some beneficial bacteria and some water conditioner. You're absolutely going to need it. These are probably the two kinds of products I go through the most. Um, and then I again want to say thank you to Frizz Aquatics. I go through this stuff the most and they just sent me a bunch. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, Luke Scoldies, out. Also, the beard's coming back. Slowly but surely, the beard's coming back. You just wait. This video is brought to you by Margaret the Goldfish. Always eat your peas. It helps you poop. Just kidding. Margaret does not financially contribute anything to this whole operation. She just sits here and eats all my food, eats all my peas. But you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. Miss Margaret is a beautiful, sweet fish. She gives everyone kisses, whether they like it or not. A questionable activity. Uh, but that's her. We love her. Uh, everybody say hi to Miss Margaret.